DJI have just taken the decision to reverse an absolutely huge safety feature they first implemented to the DJI Fly app shortly after the introduction of this drone right here, the DJI Mini 2. This safety feature was designed for new drone flyers to reduce the risk of them crashing this drone immediately upon takeoff. But with the introduction of the DJI Fly 1.11.4, this safety feature has been completely reversed to what it was before. So what I'm going to do on this video is show you exactly what has changed with a quick demonstration and I'm going to also discuss why this new feature going back to the way it was before might not be a bad thing. So let's get into it. So for full disclosure, basically I did not pick this up when I did my video review of the DJI Fly 1.11.4 hands up basically yet yeah, i missed it and it's been brought to my attention uh, through the channel and a good friend of mine nobby green so please do go check out his channel i believe he had a conversation with another uh, channel that i'm good friends with kevin uh, from where the roberts and basically nobby green did some testing uh, to basically validate the uh, conversation to see if it was actually the case but because i generally do review these things and i've got quite strong thoughts on this i want to do a video in its own right so basically let's just get straight into it and show you exactly what it is now first of all basically this affects any drone using the dji fly app so this test is going to be conducted using the dji mini 2 an old firm favorite of the channel and this doesn't matter whether you are using the dji rc m1 controller or the dji rc or rc2 with the built-in screen our main focus here is going to be on the speed toggle slider that we have got on our controller as you can see as you may well know you can toggle between c mode n mode or s mode so to demonstrate the change then basically i'm going to take a quick flight out now i'm running the dji fly 1.11.0 as you can see on my dji mini 2 so the first test will be completed in normal speed mode this is indicated by the n in the top corner and it means that we have got the switch on our controller to the center position now what i'm going to do is just take off using this dji mini 2 and once we reach max speed you can see we are ascending at a speed of around three meters per second and that's generally the speed that the dji mini 2 can do in normal mode so let's just bring the drone back down and we're going to take off in sport mode so to highlight the safety feature we're now going to attempt to take off in sport mode so all i need to do is go ahead and press take off and push that stick all the way up and as you can see despite us in sport mode we are only ascending at that three meters per second whereas the dji mini 2 can actually ascend at five meters per second in sport mode okay so that's three meters per second in normal mode three meters per second in sport mode as well and basically this is what dji introduced previously and what it was designed to do is stop people leaving their switch in sport mode okay and essentially taking off and just flying their drone straight into a tree because of course it's ascending much quicker or indeed if you're flying horizontally it's just shooting off much quicker than you was potentially expecting so let's look at the change with dji flight 1.11.4 then so now you can see we're running that particular version of the app and what i'm going to do is again just take off in normal mode just so we've got that benchmark go ahead hit the automatic takeoff button we're going to hover for a second hit that stick upwards and as you can see we're going to get that three meters per second so now let's just repeat what we did before bring the drone all the way back down to the ground and take off all the way again but this time once again we're going to put it in s mode for sport once again now that is in sport we're going to just hit that automatic takeoff button hover for a second and then fly straight up and as you can see we are getting that full five meters per second speed even though we was flat on the ground and basically in the same scenario as what we was in the dji fly 1.11.0 where it capped our ascent speed at three meters per second this is absolutely full at five meters per second so i'm sure you can agree that's an absolutely huge difference and basically changes the characteristics of the drone when you are first taking off now if you didn't know already this speed cap on the old version only applied to the sport mode essentially if you did have the switch flip to the cine smooth mode 
that was deemed you already wanted to take off at a slower rate so it would only give you two meters per second on initial takeoff so there we go that was an absolutely huge safety feature that a lot of people um may well be caught out on basically if they've left that switch in the spot mode but obviously at the beginning of the video i did mention that i didn't think this was a particular bad thing so let me just explain why this change to the way the drone behaves upon initial takeoff depending on where the switch is on your controller isn't a bad thing basically not many new drone flyers actually knew about this. So what tended to happen is new drone flyers would take off in sport mode and generally complain that they wasn't getting the speed that they were expecting out of their drone. Now, yes, we're not always looking to just whiz around or whip around at the full speed that your drone can fly to. However, there was a huge difference. You see, if that inexperienced drone pilot did not know that after you took off, you had to switch back to normal, then to spot to get the full speed out of your drone. This resulted in many people getting caught out during windy conditions. Essentially, this drone here, the DJI Mini 2, was completely and utterly throttled. Not just a Mini 2, in fact, any particular drone that you was flying on using the DJI Fly app. That drone, potentially, you was taken off in sport mode thinking you had full power, but you was only getting the power of the normal mode, okay? So essentially, this was, as I've already mentioned, leaving a lot of new drone flyers completely confused. and. I have basically been advised that this is the reason uh, for many people suffering what we call a flyaway, essentially where the wind speed is greater than the drone can make forward momentum. So actually, going back to the way it was before, because this was a new introduction when I was out flying and doing my testing using the DJI Mavic Mini, it was the old fashioned way. So if you pressed uh, sport mode, it would take off in sport mode. Um, so I don't think this is a really bad thing um, because more people was getting caught out by not knowing the drone was only flying at the normal speed mode, even though they had the toggle in sport mode, than basically people was crashing potentially their drone because it took off a little bit faster than what they was expecting. So please do let me know your thoughts. Now, of course, if you are on an iOS device, you are kind of stuck to going back to the old version if you do not like this feature. However, if you are on Android, you can use my link in the video description to my own personal Google Drive, okay, where I host all the old Android install files. Uh, so basically, you can just uninstall the original one, go back to the last one if you want that basically safety feature back. So please do let me know what your thoughts are to this uh, change in the comment section below. I'm very interested to hear your thoughts. So if you did, of course, find this video useful, hit that thumbs up. It tells the YouTube algorithm that more people just like you might want to watch my content. Subscribe if you're awesome. And until next time, see you again soon.